Yeah, hello. This is Martin from the photoacademy.eu. And uh, this will be a video series of the new on one software, Perfect Photo Suite 6. I will give you an overview of the whole photo suite, what I like. And I will take you with me through a workflow like I use this photo suite and I will give you some tips how you can speed up your workflow if you're using the perfect photo suite 6. Yeah, and then this first video here I will give you an overview of the user panel and why you can call it photo suite I'm working with the On One software a few years now, and at first it was the plugin suite. It was only a plugin for such programs like Photoshop. And now, at the first time, the Photo Suite 6 is a standalone, and you can really use this Photo Suite only as a standalone you know, you have no need to jump into Photoshop or something like this you can use it directly after your raw conversion if you're coming out from Lightroom or something like this or if you already have TIFF or JPEG files you can open it as a standalone in the photo suite and you open your image here in this user panel and this is called perfect layers. Here you have layers, you can create layers, you can copy layers, you can give them a blend mode, you can change the opacity and already with this few clicks you have enhanced this image to another level. You have pushed up the contrast a little bit only by duplicating the layer, give him the blending mode overlay and changing opacity to your taste. Yeah, and what else do you have? You have some work tools here on the left, a move tool, a crop tool, trim tool, the masking brush, the masking bug, which is very fast if you have a straight horizon line and you will mask out the foreground and only let the plug-in effect going into the sky, for example, on this image. It's a very fast way to masking out an area. You have retouching brush, the pan tool, zoom tool. You can toggle the preview modes. And on the upper right-hand corner, you have all the plugins from the whole photo suite. You can buy these plugins alone. You can buy perfect FX if you only need this. I have the photo suite, so I have all of these plugins. The masking tool, the portrait tool, but it's really brand new in this photo suite. You have the FX, the blur tool, the focal point called. It's very good to create a special blurriness to your image. You can simulate uh, depth of field from a lens and stuff like that. You have frames and a very interesting tool for me is resize. It's resizing your image for printing. I use it for printing but you can already resize down your image for the web. That's also possible. Yeah, and uh, as I said before, you start up here with the layers and you can already changing the style of your image by only using the layers. But you can also go into the effects, for example, give you a fast overview what you can do with the standalone. 
can go in to the black and whites, can give borders, tones, everything. I will show you a little bit more of the effects on the future videos. Right now I will go into one of my own presets and change the look of this image a little bit. And if this is good to your taste, you can say apply. You're back to the layers panel and you have the effect of this effects plugin in a new layer. You can change the mode, the blending mode. You can change the opacity as well. And now you see that was a black and white, special black and white effect I created. And by only changing the, the blending mode and a little bit of the opacity, you can create a different look to your image. It's a very fast and easy way to do so. Yeah, and uh, here for the masking panel, you can mask out areas. You can also use your Wacom tablet and control these masking tool with your Wacom or not. Yeah, this was it for the first video of the series. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. See you next time. Goodbye.